Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 5. Let's play Crash Bandicoot The Huge Adventure. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com Okay, if you're wondering what am I doing in level 6 Snow Crash, well, if you remember, this level actually has the Blue Gym Path. You're gonna need this penguin, do a double jump, well, off, off the penguin, of course, and there you go. Now, this place has no boxes to find. All you need to do is just get to the end of the stage so you can find the gem. The silver one, of course. Damn it. That obviously was not supposed to happen, but it did. Yeah, I better play it safe. Whoa, whoa, whoa that was close. I don't want to die here. Well, I don't want to die anywhere, actually, but... That's besides the point. So yeah, of course, this place is going to be a little bit tougher to deal with. I'm trying to make sure momentum is not working against me at that point. Oh, that would be the timing. Alright, let's do this again. At least you get to start at the beginning of the gym pass. Can't wait that time. That's where I still live. You ain't getting me this time, polar bear. I'll learn my lesson. That was pretty close. That penguin actually spun pretty fast compared to usual. I mean, the timing at least. It's a little bit more off compared to normal. But I'm not gonna complain because I'm still alive. Okay, I think this is the point where I died. Well, this isn't a very long path to take. So if I had to go through, like, all of this without a checkpoint, it's gonna be get rough. Not to mention slippery. Okay, that was it. And you had to go through, like, all the stage, pretty much. So, let's see. Do I actually have to finish the stage? I'm not 100% sure. Let's go to the warp room. I do have to finish the stage. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. We're at level 8, just hanging. And I've taken care of most of the boxes. Like, 107 out of 154. Now, remember, I needed the green gem in order to get through here. Now that I have it, we can take the green gem path. And, of course, there's 47 boxes right there. And some frogs, too. We're seeing them for the first time. Who knows, it might even be the last time. But, I guess that all depends on the cards that are dealt to me throughout the game. Am I right? Of course, try not to get this slime, otherwise, well, that will happen. I think I just went to the bottom of the free... I mean, the end of the grate that I'm trying to hang on to. And that is why I ended up dead. In any case, I gotta try to be more careful. This is good. I think that gem pads are intentionally meant to have no checkpoints whatsoever. Just to make them more challenging. Yeah, you put that flamethrower away. Okay, good. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to hang on to that. Okay, do I want to activate that right now? That's a good question. I don't think I'm gonna ruin anything if I do. So I'll just go for it. Besides, I get a little bit of insurance with Aku. Let's see if this bites me in the ass. Three, four, five! Ah, 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 ah. Okay, this looks very risky. Especially when you have like this and the slime. Wait, I know what to do. Uh, better move. Yep, that works. Okay. So, let's just get through the rest of this. And, wait. No. Okay, hang on, I just gotta answer a text message. Just give me a few seconds. Okay, we're good. Back to the game. And it was just my sister asking how Lo how's Lola, which of course is my puppy, and I just said she was asleep, and leave me alone. Okay, I just said she was asleep. I didn't say leave me alone. I wouldn't dare say that. I love my sister. 
even though we're a bit different. But that's besides the point. I mean, I wouldn't hate family just for being different from me. Come on now. That's a bit of a petty thing to do. Okay, there's a silver gem that you can find here. And I get another silver gem for taking out all the crates. Wait, that can't be all the crates. I'm missing a few. I'm missing like nine. Maybe there's some down here. Nope! Bad idea. Uh, let's see. What needs to be done to get to the bottom of this? Just give me a few minutes to think this out. Okay, I'm back. I figured out how it is you take care of these other boxes that I missed. There's just one problem with it, though. When you do this, you get back on, move down a little slightly, take care of this, go through here, take care of that. The problem I have with this is that the jumps are blind, meaning you have to guess where they are. Like, there's no function for you to actually just scroll down to look. If there were, I would have used it by now. Then we'd have no problems. So that was quite a few boxes that I've taken care of, and I think that's it! Okay, now that we know how to take care of this, I'm gonna meet you back when I'm done. Okay, we're back here. I did all the progress that I did show on camera back at this point. That's all the boxes. I got the silver gem from before. I had to pick it up again. Now I can get the other silver gem for getting the last box in the entire stage, and then we're done. Okay, what other stages still need to be done? Let's see. Like, I know I still gotta go do level 3. And as for this, there's probably gonna be multiple spots. Like over here at level 12. And let's see, level 14 has to be done again. But let's not worry about that now. What hasn't been done yet? Ah, air supply. Let's just go back to doing new levels. We'll just save like the replays for later. But I just want to get some out of the way. Okay, that's eels of course, and they are electric. In other words, attack them when they're not electrified. Simple as that, right? Of course, worst case scenario, you spin into them when they're not electrocuted, and then start electrifying themselves immediately. That's pretty much the worst that can happen. I mean, regular eels over there that pop out of the walls are never electrocuted. So you don't have to worry about them. Unless you do a very bad spin like I just did. see any boxes around here. We only got 11 so far. So we're not even close to done. Squids are not an issue. I think we a checkpoint. Could use another Aku though. That would be nice to have. Like pretty much any time you want. Or when you feel you need it. This immediate stretch is not too bad. Like, I seem to have no problems with the water stages, which is great. I don't really have problems with many stages when I do. Certain ones are a bit of a pain in the ass, but... It happens. Here, I'll just detonate this. Then I won't have to worry about being blown up. Not much left. Only need like 13 more boxes. So I gotta look for a nitro switch. Do I want to set this off now? No, I don't. I want to do this first. Well, I could destroy that box anyway, but if I do, then I lose out. On the one up. Okay, now I gotta find the nitro detonator. Where is it? What? I spun right into that. What the hell? I don't even know why I bothered for that, actually. The one up is gone. 
I gotta do all this again. Granted, it's not a lot, but still. Okay, which is the eel that got me? I think it was this one. I bet you I was really close to the exit, too. I was. I'm just going to ignore those eels, because I'd rather not risk it. So that was a very short level. I think I can get the gold or the platinum relic if I wanted to do the time trial right now. Let's go to No Fly Zone. Okay, how many boxes? 56. Either there's going to be a lot of boxes in a very short stretch, or this is going to be one long-ass level. I'm really hoping it's the former, not the latter. But if it's the latter, so be it. I'll be ready. I'll take some hits if I have to. If I still have to get the boxes. Okay, that's much better. So where's the first... Oh god, now the planes are gonna do this. And they still shoot. This is going to be a hell of a problem. They're gonna be moving this erratically. It's like, go home, plane. You're drunk. Seriously. You're just moving out of control. Get rid of that plane. Oh, the other one. And this plane. Ah, uh, 96! Yeah. That's reverse 69, of course. It's not very sexy at all. I mean, you're not even facing each other. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of ass work involved. Think about it. Well, try your best not to think about it too much. I really don't want to corrupt your brains any more than I've already have. Oh look, I got 64! Still only 22 boxes. Oh great. Rockets! Well, at least they're giving me plenty of health right at the start. Dodge the rockets, dodge the bombs. The best of my abilities. Try not to miss any boxes. That one hit did like 14% damage. Oh great, now the planes do barrel rolls. Practically landing right on top of me. That's just what I needed. Since when did Cortex hire Peppy? I'm telling these planes to do a barrel roll. I don't appreciate that Peppy man. It's not cool. Why are you doing this to me? Okay, very little box left to go. Only like 11 more. Ah, uh, go away! Nobody wants you here! Well, at least the planes don't keep respawning for this blimp fight. I mean, the navigation system on these rockets must be very over the top. Don't try to track me like this. But, I only got like 30% uh, of my health gone. And that's gonna change shortly once I find more health, or at least take more damage. I'm at 56. I wanted that to change, but for the better, not for the worse. Well, maybe it's for the better in Cortex's perspective, but I don't really care about his feelings. I'm trying to make the planet small! It's small enough as it is! For this population! Seriously! Oh yeah, just bring all the bombs right here, then! Last blimp, and I'm at full health. We got all the boxes. Let's do this. Let's go to town. Sky Town! Or Sky Loft, you know, that'd be better, but. I don't really think Crash Bandicoot would fit in the Zelda universe. It would make no sense. I can't imagine Crash Bandicoot using a hookshot or throwing bombs. 
Maybe he threw explosives and crashed bash. I don't know. I never played the game. Drip, drip, drip. Let's do this. Hey, aren't you gonna use the body slam, Crash? Crash! Fine, just do the single jump, then the body slam. Okay, the frogs are here. Uh, they try to jump on you, which is obviously not nice. I mean, that's what frogs do, right? Either that or eat flies. Uh, how do I want to do this? That was actually a very picture-perfect jump. Forget that life. It's God now. Can I take all of them? Yes, it will. That's all I wanted to know. Um, let's see. I wish you can just scroll down. Wow, that was a nice, neat little trap. I got a hand it to you, game, throwing in a trap like that. Good thing I still had Aku. Okay, I hope that was the only box I needed to worry about. Uh-oh, I think I might have screwed myself. Well, wait! No! I was safe! That was a bit of luck, though. Wait, I think I still botched it. Yep, because there's boxes down here. Man, how much is this game asking you for me for a simple bonus stage? Let's do this again. I think I'm gonna try a different approach. When it came to that little bridge. I'm pretty sure I'll get it. Um, what if I try to... Is it this way that was safe, or the other way? Oh, that answered my question. But I think if I just did a body slam, that would probably screw me over. It would have to be a different approach. Probably just detonate the TNT first. That'll probably be the way to do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it like this. Um. Wow! Nice job! Mr. Nitro, Mr. Platform 2! Good job, Crash! Just wow. I mean, most of my fails are coming from bonus stages alone, let alone the, the actual stages. It should be the other way around. Okay. And I still hit the TNT. Maybe there's no real good way to do this. But slam! Game? Must you do this to me? I botched it. Better kill myself. This is frustrating. Like, this is what Crash is all about. Just one mistake can cost you everything when it comes to progress. You have to be close to perfect. And I can't really pull stuff like that off. Okay, I think this is gonna work. Yeah, now I can avoid damage this way. Yeah, just pick that one up. I don't need it. I got tons of lives. <sighs> okay, that's better. That's not really the way I wanted to do it, but I'll take it. That's better. Hmm. How am I gonna do this? Do I actually hit this? I don't know. I'll do it like this. Let's see what happens. Oh my god! Oh, be right back. Okay, I'm back. I did all the progress that I've already shown on camera, so why don't we head back? I, for some reason, I did not realize you can just walk on these. I don't know why I thought otherwise. Guess I was just too paranoid to know better. But now let's try to finish this bonus stage and get out of there. You know, I like to be done with this place and then deal with the regular level. In any case, let's take care of this. Over here. Do the double jump. 
Land on the TNT, thankfully. And of course, I got two boxes remaining, but that's the Nitro, so we don't need to worry about them. There, now let's deal with the rest of the level. Of course, I got more than half of the crates, which is great. Ha, <laughs> that rhymes! Crates, great! Well, sort of rhymes, but... On the grand scheme of things, they're very similar. In any case, let's just focus on finishing the level. Hopefully it won't get any more difficult. But if it does, I won't be surprised. I just find that the bonus stages are more annoying to deal with. Because there's so many things that can go wrong. Like, at least the levels are quite standard. I was taking a risk and I lost all the Wumpa Fruit as a result. Invincibility? Please. I could really use some invincibility for a change, but I don't want to take care of that box. Because I know if I do, I'm not going to bounce on it. And I will die as a result. I can go after whatever Nitro I see, though. And whatever enemies as well. Okay, now I should head back. So I can head back to that crate that I left behind. I was smart enough to know not to trip that crate when I was invincible. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Alright, now, haha, <laughs> 69 Wumpa Fruit. Alright, let's hope there's another checkpoint. I mean, there should be. Once I finish this stage, I'm going to stop the video. Because I've already dealt with enough for this part. I'm sure you guys have seen enough, too, for now. But there is a checkpoint. Die! Stupid frog. Okay, there we go. Alright, I think I'm gonna get through this with no problems. Unless some random BS comes my way. I only got five more boxes. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get the gem here. If I don't, there's something wrong. There's a crystal. Great. And that's all the boxes. Awesome. If I had hit the slime there, I would have been super annoyed. Oh, man. Okay, so I only got one level that I haven't done yet. I gotta go back here to get the red gem. Thankfully, I got the silver one. Is there anything else I need to take care of in this particular hub? Other than this level, level 16? No. What else is on the checklist that I haven't done yet? Let's see. I... Other than the time trials, of course. I gotta do Ace of Space later. And anything else here? Down the hole I gotta do later. And so far, that's it. And how about on Hub 2? That's completely done. Hub 2 is completely cleared. I think once I get the red gem, then I can go back to Hub 1 to get the other gem. So in any case, I'll stop the video here, and then in the next episode, we'll obviously have to go for more gems. See ya.